Good morning. Actually, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Well, it may be morning where you're at, but it's good afternoon where I'm at. <laughs> I'm saying morning because I don't hardly come to McDonald's. And I'm here in mine about to get my mother a sandwich and a little fry to go with her sandwich. I'm going to get her a fish fillet sandwich. She likes those. So... <clears throat> And I might have to taste some of the french fries because I like french fries. Anywho, I hope you guys are having a good day. This is Sunday, um, July the 30th. Hold on. Everybody, can you park in number two and we'll get it off to you? Okay. Thank you so much. You too. I just love when people say, have a blessed one. <laughs> They asked me to park at number two. I guess it's not ready. You know, you have to be patient. Sometimes it's annoying when you have to pull up. <laughs> you know, but, you know, they get busy. So I just have to understand that. I guess this is number two. It says number two, reserved drive through So I don't really like parking here because the people behind you, I don't want nobody hitting my car. So... There's this man coming through. You got it. I was trying to give him some room because I don't want him hitting his car. And, you know, the way McDonald's is, you know, the parking, this lane here, your drive through lane, it's kind of narrow. But, anywho, yeah, like I said, this is Sunday, July the 30th, the last day of July. Can you believe that? And I went to church today and had a great service. And now I'm going to put on some lipstick. Because my lips are kind of plain and I can't stand that. So how are you guys? How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a great day. God is so good. And he continues to be good. Ooh, don't hit this car. Ooh. Guys, I am actually getting nervous because these cars, I'm looking in my side mirror and they are just getting close. Oh, man. <clears throat> okay, well, number one just got her order. So I should be next. But I'm hoping that she'll leave because I want to pull up. And I'm parked behind this real nice BMW. It's an SUV. Do you guys like that? the new um, SUV I kind of like the cars better I'm more of a car person for um, oops well, I'm going up even though they told me to park at number two but I'm going up because I don't want anybody hitting me but anyway I like the BMD, BMW cars I don't know I'm just into the cars but the SUVs they're nice I just don't like the back of it, the way it is. Not that much. <clears throat> and I can't even talk to you guys. I will talk to you when I get my order because I'm just paranoid of these people driving by. I don't want nobody hitting this car. Well, let me, let me start telling you because they haven't brought my order out yet. Speaking of hitting car, I didn't tell you guys this, but this was about, I would say maybe two or three weeks ago. Wait a minute. If I stop talking, it's because I'm watching these cars. <laughs> I'm paranoid. Um, and I'm also looking out for the person to bring the order. Ooh, my nose is itching. Um, speaking of, never mind, she's coming out. Hold on, guys. <laughs> Why is she bringing me all these bags? She got two big bags. I only ordered two things. Hello. What is she doing? Oh, hi. Hi, hi. Hi. Let me make sure I got everything. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much. 
got my fish fillet and um, a small order of french fries. Anyway, I was parked in the parking lot at Dollar Tree recently. And I had already went in there. I'm just waiting for this car to go. It's like, what are you going to do? They're waiting for me. Sorry for all this stopping and going, talking, but you know, you got to pay attention to the road. You know, that's first and foremost, other than talking. But anyway, <coughs> I stopped and parked at uh, Dollar Tree after I came out. And And all of a sudden, this lady decides to park next to me. And I see her coming towards me. And she came too close. I was watching her in my side mirror. And she came so, so close and she bumped me. She grazed me. She, she bumped the actual car from the back. And... <clears throat> Everything happened so fast. I only wish that I had thought to start my car and just go up a little bit. But I didn't know she was going to hit it. Because, you know, things, all this stuff always happens fast. Nothing happens slow. So I was so angry. I jumped out of the car. I went around. She was parked right here to my right. And she had a window up. She didn't get out right away. I knocked on her, her window, boom, 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 because <laughs> I was upset, and she rolled down the window. I said, excuse me, ma'am, but you hit my car, and she says, I didn't hit your car. I said, yes, you did. I was emotional. I was angry. I said, yes, you did. You bumped it right over here. You, don't tell me you could not feel that. I'm sitting in here in my car, and I felt that boom. Don't tell me you did not feel yourself hit my car when you parked in the stall and then she, she opens the door she didn't get out she says are you sure that somebody else did not hit your car I said ma'am look don't play dumb dumb roll with me because I'm not dumb okay you hit my car there's no one else parked over here but you you're the only one that came over here to my to my side okay so don't play the dumb dumb don't don't tell me that you did not feel that bump because you know you did. You know you did. So I was upset. And she just kept saying, I didn't hit your car. I said, ma'am, yes, you did. Now, see, this time I needed um, I needed somebody to be a witness. I didn't have a witness. Oh, shoot. I want to eat a few of these fries before I go in. I didn't have a witness. But there was a car parked on my left side. I don't know if he saw it because he was looking down. He was parked in his car. I don't know why he was parked there, but he was parked. And he just sat there. So he didn't come out and nobody else came over. There was nobody really around. And I'm stopping because I'm here. <laughs> Boy, the way I stopped it made it seem like I was about to go over the bump. <laughs> Anyway, let me go ahead and put my handicap sign up as I talk to you guys because I'm going to have to get out. But she was determined that she didn't hit the car. And then she looked towards the back. I showed her where she bumped the car because it kind of scraped. Not like a real bad scrape. It, it, you know, I should have called it in. It wasn't that bad because some of it was kind of like more powderish. Um, she bumped the, the color part of it and the plastic part of it. Sorry, guys. I'm putting my But anyway, she, um, she bumped that part of it. And I was just... I showed her where she, where she bumped it. And I said, you should have paid attention, ma'am. You weren't paying attention when you pulled up in this stall. And I was watching you, and you bumped it. So she said, I am so, so sorry. 
So I just told her, I said, no problem. I said, I forgive you, but just next time, please pay attention to what you're doing. Mmm. Mmm. I just got to get a taste of these fries. I'm so hungry. And this is my mother's. Mmm. It's a few fries. Mmm. 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 Anyway, I've got to go. I will talk to you guys when I get back <laughs> in the car. Okay, guys, I'm back in the car. Just leaving and visiting my mother. And she's doing okay. So now... I'm on my way home because I've got to get ready for a tablescape that I need to decorate for and rest because my head is hurting. I don't know why. Okay, I'm trying to get this um, this visor to fold up correctly and it's not easy. Hope you guys can hear me. Let me turn up, turn down my air condition. My head is, uh, not my head, but my neck is tight. And it just feels like I need to stretch it and just relax. You know, lay on the couch and relax. So at some point I will relax. I don't know when I'm going to do that. But, you know, a wife, mother, well, not so much mother, but wife, duty, a housewife, duty is never done. And there's always something to do, isn't it? There's <laughs> always something to do. So, almost didn't see those people. Oh boy. Making sure I don't hit anything. You know, I have a cane that I'm. <laughs> should have always been walking with but I don't like to walk with a cane I know I need it my mother has told me you need your cane my husband's told me my daughter and my son and that's enough people right but it's just something about me I don't want to get attached to that because I feel like once you start using a cane you're never going to stop that's just kind of like how I think and I just don't I just can't stand to use it. I guess you called me vain. But I get very embarrassed to have to use something like that. And I know I should not. I shouldn't, but I, I do. That's how I feel. You know, somebody told me a cane is not for just the, the, the people who are old. You know, a cane is for any age. Any type of disability to give you assistance when walking and I know that but it's just my mind and you tell me oh, I don't want to be wearing it using that cane it's embarrassing so I took my mother's advice and all the other ones advice and I started to use it today I didn't do a whole lot of walking but the place where she's at at the moment you know you have to do a little bit of walking and I know that walking right now is difficult because my hip, um, I, ha I deal with rheumatoid arthritis. And my rheumatologist told me that there's also osteo, I don't know if she said osteoarthritis. I forgot one of those osteos is also present too. So... You know, I don't want to fall. And my mother is always telling me, Liz, you don't want to fall. I don't want to hear, get a call from you or from someone else saying that you fell and you broke something. Had to go to the hospital. You know, so I'm trying to listen and be a good girl. <laughs> my husband said, you're a bad girl. Bad girl, Liz. You don't want to carry that cane. Shoot. Mm. I kill a cane. <laughs> I told my mother today, I said, I feel like taking that cane and shoving it somewhere. <laughs> and she said, okay. <laughs> I'm going to be good. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'm gonna be good. Mm-hmm. But at least I brought it. I'm, I used it, so goody points for me. Yeah, I used it. But anyway, I don't have nothing else to talk about, you guys. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing one of my little girlfriends. You know, I'm starting to call my my wigs my girlfriends. Yeah, because what else am I going to call them? Because my hair, it needs to be done. And it needs some attention done to it. So I figured, let me just go ahead and put on one of my girlfriends. One of my girlfriends. And this is the one that I don't like as much. Because it, um, I don't like it as much because it, um, it's kind of like that, oh shoot, it's like that flyaway hair. I like things that are more like curly, kinky, but this is a cute uh, wig. I do like it. It's just that it gets everywhere in my, in my face. And I don't really like wigs that get it all in your face, but... Sorry if you hear that ding ding sound. I'm just around the corner from where I live and I don't want to put my belt on, which I should. <laughs> oh, look at, look at, look at Mrs. Shirley. Over to the, over to the, <laughs> wait a minute, look at the camera. <laughs> no, let them see your face. I'm too dark, they won't be they, able to see it. This is plenty of light over there. No, it's not. You can hear it in this camera. No, it's is. not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, say hello. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, not there, babe. I was trying to get hubby to get the curtain the way I wanted it, and he thought he would just make me laugh and put on my girlfriend. So I thought, I thought that was so funny because he looked like Flip Wilson. <laughs> so now he's just adjusting it and trying to get it to look better. <sighs> Hey guys, I'm in this room trying to organize my dresser drawer. I've got a big old black bag here and I've got some of my drawers out and just trying to organize everything. Now, I don't do organizational videos or anything like that, but I just wanted to let you know what I'm doing. <laughs> because when we moved, everything was just crazy, like I left it. I mean, you know how you just pack up everything well, you don't pack up everything and everything is just put in your drawers and just stuffed in there. You get new things. You just stuff it in there or just kind of halfway fold it. And then, not only that, with everything being in our storage, we had those, but I don't like to say, mice and rats crawling everywhere. And I'm just like freaking out right now because I've got a lot of those dead feces in my drawers. And when I see them, I just like, <sighs> just have to breathe. <laughs> so um, I don't touch them with my hands. And I know they carry germs, but this has been like months ago. And I know all of that is done. So I don't have to worry about anything, you know, anything hurting me or exposing the family. I mean, it's, I was told that once it's been so, so much time, you know, whatever they carry it's pretty much dead so hopefully so anyway uh, that's what i'm doing up here and i'm wearing my one of my girlfriends now this is the girlfriend i like her better than the other one i showed you that i had on yesterday on sunday yeah this one is a little bit more cuter because it has more of a fluff and it's not so straight a little bit better so, anywho, I hope you guys are having a great start of Monday. Well, it's not the start of Monday right now. It's about halfway on throughout the day. It's about 3.30 here. And I need to... I still haven't done that table scheme yet. <laughs> I'm just going to finish this drawer here and then work my way downstairs. And I've got to do that table. So, I don't have anything going on today. Um, I've got a running errand a little bit later on this evening i am tired i'm tired because i got up so early this morning because i had a doctor's appointment but that appointment wasn't until three o'clock no two o'clock that's right two o'clock i had to get a um 
uh, what do you call that? Ultrasound done from my OBGYN. And before I went, like an hour before, they wanted me to drink 32 ounces of water. So that's what I did. And I'm telling you, when I finished that first bottle, my bladder was like, mmm, I got to go <laughs> to the bathroom. And I felt so annoyed and uncomfortable. I don't know if you guys have ever had an ultrasound, but it's no fun when you have to hold that urine inside you for so long. Mm, I have to say I must have held it for about an hour and a half. I don't like when they make you do that. It's so aggravating. I mean, I was so agitated. I'm like, come on, I got to go. I told my husband... <laughs> He's over there laughing. I told him, I said, I'm going to pee a little bit of this out. <laughs> not to be gross, but I said, I got to go a little bit. I mean, this is just not happening. It's so uncomfortable. So when I got there, my doctor's office is in the, um, a very, very old building. Okay. So the elevator is so... Oh, I don't like elevators. I have gotten, I'm scared of elevators. I just don't like them because I got um, locked in one. Got stuck in an elevator twice as a child. And ever since then, I have never been fond of elevators. Very bad experiences to the point where you want to panic, okay? And this elevator, the, there's two of them. The one that, that opened up for me is very tiny, like a bread box. Now, that's the one I don't like to get into. Either one of them, really, because the, they're hot. There's no air. I mean, it feels like it's about 90 degrees. And I'm not kidding. About 90 degrees in that elevator. And when I went in, signed in and everything, and then when they called me, I told the technician, I don't know why I told her, I just asked her a question about the stairs. And first she told me they don't allow people up and down the stairs because I guess security can't, you know, control who comes in or they want to control who comes in and now they don't want just everybody just following after one another. And excuse me, I have a peppermint in my mouth I'm sucking on. Anyway... Um, so I told her, I said, well, you know what? I may have to find another OBGYN. And she was like, oh, the doctor is so good. I said, yes, I love that doctor. I love her. But I can't keep coming to this building and going in that elevator. <laughs> okay, I got to get back to this before he okay. come down. Let me get myself together for real. So anyway, um, hubby's making me laugh. But, um... Yeah, I told her, I said, I don't know if I'm going to be able to come back. And she said, the doctor is really, really good, which she is. I like her. I trust her. So she said she would go and talk to her office manager about letting me, you know, go down the stairs when I leave. So she did. She told her how I feel about elevators. And she came back with great news. She said, well, you know what? You have permission, special permission. Like I'm some celebrity or somebody. When you come for your visits, which is not often, maybe once a year or so like that. She said, just call them downstairs. I mean, just call them upstairs. And they will come down because there's a code that they have to punch in to let you through that door to go upstairs. Now, when I go down the stairs, there's no code. I can just go on down. Now, mind you, this is three flights of stairs. That's not comfortable, but I will do it. If I have to take my time and go up those stairs one step at a time, what I'll do is just tell the lady, you can go on, you can go on up if you want. You don't have to wait for me because it's going to take me a while. And I will get there plenty, plenty of time so that I can take my time going up the stairs. Now, I went down the stairs on my own today after my appointment. And I'm telling you guys, I felt so much better because I said, I'm not getting back on that elevator. That her elevator should not even be. Okay, it's super old. I mean, very, very old. And when I got on there, I pushed number three for the, for the floor. 
And do you know if it closed, it was making these noises and stuff. And I'm like, oh, gosh. Lord, help me. I felt like I wanted to panic. I really did. I said, oh, gosh, Lord, let me get out of this elevator without stopping. Whew. And it took so long for it to open up. Those are the ones that make me want to panic. So as soon as it opened up, I was just like, oh, thank you, Jesus. I felt so relieved. I just said, I'm, I'm not getting back on it anymore. So to make a long story short, I have permission when I come there to call them and they'll come down and get me. And I don't really care what they think about me. I really don't because if they, if they knew what I experience when I get on elevators, what I go through, they would understand, okay? And the fact that I got um, stuck in one twice in my lifetime. Oh, and the technician even told me that that elevator stopped on her and she got stuck. And I said, oh, no. I said, now you really shouldn't have told me that. I know I'm not getting back down on that. Not, I'm not getting back in the elevator. I could not believe she told me that. Oh, man. I think that she should not have told me. The fact that how I feel about elevators and then she tells me that, I'm like, oh, that did it. That did it. So I have permission to just call them now. So I'm so happy. I'm so relieved. Whew. I just feel so relieved because I didn't want to have to find another OBGYN. If not in this city, then I would have to travel. I didn't want to do that. You know, traveling to another city. I mean, some people don't mind driving to a different city to see a doctor. I have some doctors that live kind of like far away from me, but I don't have to see them per se. I can see them on, um, what do you call it, like Skype or, you know, one of those video type things. And I need to go see them because it's been so long since COVID started, you know, everybody was at home and seeing doctors via the video you know and i've gotten used to it I've gotten spoiled it's like i don't want to drive down there now so mm, i gotta think about what i'm gonna do i don't know i just don't like going so far to see a doctor it's unnecessary that's how i feel about it but yeah that was my experience and then um since i'm home i'm relaxing um fix some beans and rice just something simple for dinner and we just finished <laughs> and you see where i'm at laying down i'm not laying down flat you know where my food won't digest it's just so i could relax because i'm sleepy my feet are hurting hubby was so nice he washed the last few of the dishes that i had so that was nice wasn't it
morning. This is Saturday morning. I hope you guys are having a good day. Me, Sam, and Aaron, we're going to a funeral. My sister-in-law's funeral today. So, just waiting for them to get ready. And we're going to be heading out. It's in a different city, so we got to get on the freeway. And hopefully the traffic is not too bad. So, anyway... Pray for us, <laughs> the whole family. I have on a black blouse with my little pretty, whatever you call these things, sparkly things, and some navy dark blue pants that has a little black in it. It has a little bit white in it, so I haven't put my lipstick on yet, and I'm carrying my black purse, so... That's what we're doing today, but I don't know if we're going to make it quite to the uh, memorial service because uh, Aaron is not ready. So we're waiting on him. And you know how that can be when you're waiting on somebody. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys have a good day, whatever you guys are doing. And then tomorrow... Sunday, I'm going to church. So, yeah. So, I just wanted to pop on today and let you guys know that we're going to my sister-in-law's uh, memorial. Or, it probably will be the, um, the uh, burial at the cemetery. So, yep, that's what we're about to do. It's part of life. We all got to go. Unfortunately, that's the way it is. But anyway, I will catch you guys later. Of course, I have on my girlfriend. <laughs> my husband thinks that's a weird phrase for me to call my wigs girlfriends. I said, not that kind of girlfriend. But I don't know what else to call these things. I mean, I don't want to say wigs. I can't stand the word wig. It just sounds nasty. I mean, it just sounds ugly and just, I don't know. I just like to say my girlfriends because nobody knows what I'm talking about but myself. But anyway, I think I'm ready. I hope I don't have to go back in there to the bathroom. I wish they would hurry up because... And I'm, I got this coffee, and I'm trying not to drink it. Try to sip it a little bit, because you know how it is. You drink coffee, and sometimes it has you going to the bathroom. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, well, that's it. That's all I have to say right now. I got, first of all, let me just say this. I got up and got showered up and... Did my morning prayer, so oh, and this camera's falling out of my hand. Ooh, my arm is tired. Oh, ooh, I'm sorry for the shaking. I don't have my tripod, I'm just holding it with my hand. It's so hard to handle it. Anyway, I got my coffee in here, so I'm gonna drink on it. Mm. The weather today is hot, and um, where we're going is gonna be warm. But not as warm as up here. Because where I live is in the high desert. And high desert gets very dry and, 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 and hot. And, you know, there is no moisture because we have no beaches where I live. We have ponds, but no beaches. But anywho, I will check with you guys later. Or if I don't, I will see you when I can, all right? You guys have a blessed day today and do good for some, do something good for yourself and do something good for somebody else. Okay. Love you guys. Okay. When we were at the cemetery, um, I forgot we had music playing in the car and you can't hear what I'm saying, but I'm saying this place is so beautiful and it is, as you can see, I mean, this cemetery is huge. I don't think I'll get a chance to show you the entire uh, area, but as you can see, it's nice. But there are some other beautiful scenery parts that I did not get a chance to show you. 
Uh, oh my gosh, just absolutely beautiful. The video's not doing this justice. You would have to be there in person, but that's what we're talking about. All the beauty here. It's, it's more beautiful in person. You would have to be here, like I said, but I'm just loving it. And then, as we saw some of the hearse drive through the cemetery, I just became so overwhelmed with emotion. I started to cry. I mean, I just could not stop crying. I was crying and crying and crying, and it just seemed like I couldn't stop, but eventually I did, so. Oh, it was such a emotional day, but we made it through. Hey, Jazzy Greens. It's the next day, and I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys. I went in there just a little while ago just to pick up a few things. I want to see what they have new for fall. And I've been seeing so many videos, you know, with everybody showing what they have. And they got some really cute signs, you guys. If you guys want to buy, you know, if you want to find something inexpensive that's not going to break your budget, go to Dollar Tree. Because I'm telling you, they have some cute signs. Cute. So anyway, let me go ahead and just show you right quick. Because I'm actually on my way home. And... It's hot, <laughs> as it is everywhere, and I am um, tired. I think I may have to take another shower because I'm just so hot. And I'm just finishing up this drink that I got from Starbucks. You know, this is my first time trying this drink. It is that um, those frozen strawberry lemonades. Have you guys tried it? It's tasty. I won't say it's delicious, you know, where I want to go get another one, but I always wanted to try it because I see them on the commercial, and I said, I want to try that. So I've got the strawberry one, and it's just, you know, it's not something I want to go and get again. I could pass on it, but anyway, let me go ahead and do this uh, haul right quick um, so I can get on home because it's like 4, almost 4.30. Okay, the first couple of items I got... And I wasn't in there to buy a whole lot. Just a few little things. These little cute... I think these are door signs. Isn't that cute? I love these signs. Because you can put them on your doorknob or, or anything, really. I mean, at least that's what I use it for. Doorknobs. And that's what it is. It says hanging... Well, it says hanging door decor. It doesn't say doorknob, but that's what I use it for. So I think that is super cute. Which says Harvest Blessing. And it has it on the other side. So I, I picked up that. And then I got another one. It's a different sign that says fall into autumn. Cute, cute, cute. Yeah, fall into autumn. Isn't that cute? I just love the pumpkins on it. Super cute. So I got that. Then... I picked up this cute sign. I like it because it's white. You know, I love the white leaf and the brown uh, sign that says grateful. And I'm telling you, I have a lot to be grateful for. But isn't that cute? Super cute. That's how it looks on the back. Nice thick wood. And um, can't wait to decorate for fall. I'm excited. Fall is actually my favorite season. Fall, then winter because of Christmas, and then spring, summer. Nah, forget summer. It's too hot. But anyway, this is the next sign I got that says, Bl yeah, blessed. This is cute. Isn't that cute? I like that. I like it because of the galvanized letters here and the the gold here and the fact that it's like on the white side i like pumpkins that are white with the different colors on there it's just beautiful to me and it has a little sign so i love that one that is my favorite so far but yeah i'm excited to decorate for fall because you know with the new place that we're in my new home um i just have it 
pretty much decorated um standard decorating i have a little bit of um summer decor in there not a whole lot because i'm still i'm still decorating to be honest with you i haven't finished yet you guys comment down below if you guys want to see a a home tour and if you do i will probably make it into a fall home tour um just let me know i need to see how many people want me to do one if you're curious to see what our town home looks like then i'll do it okay the next thing i picked up is this um it's a rock it says diy rock painting kit which i'm not going to diy it because i don't i don't really do diys although i can do some but i just like it because it's cute and it's a rock it's kind of thin and it says give thanks on it so i thought that was really cute and you know you can paint it but i don't know i may give it a try i don't know I'm not really an artist. My son would be really good at this. If I give this to him and tell him to use these colors, or at least use, you know, the two colored colors, you know, the orange and the red, and just paint like maybe a little bit. But I don't know. I'll decide if I want it painted or not. Because he's good at that. With me, I'd probably get it off the lines and, <laughs> and everything. Then I picked up this little rolling thing that says falling leaves i know you guys have seen these these are cute at first when i picked it up i was like eh what am i gonna do with it i said well you know it's decor i just sit it on a somewhere in the kitchen it's a tabletop decor so i will find a cute spot to put it on i think this is super cute i love it and that's how it looks on the back really cute i like it not all of these things but the majority if not all is going to go in my kitchen because pretty much these are kitchen items you know happy pumpkin spice season this little cute little cup here i don't know, i just see this is fitting more for the kitchen like the coffee coffee um station so i don't know i'm gonna see what i can do it says happy pumpkin spice season so i love it it's super cute i hope the there we go isn't that cute and they have other signs too i started to get another one but i said i don't want to go i don't want to go crazy with these signs here so and then i might not want to use it so i just get this just that one i think that's probably enough then i like this one which i like all of my signs um this one says hello fall it has this little thing here and that's super cute i like that one you like that i like it i like it because um i mean where i was thinking about putting it is in the kitchen somewhere i might put it behind um somewhere by my coffee stand my coffee maker you know where my plug you know the outlet i might cover that up with it i don't know i'm just thinking about different areas in my kitchen on my counter to put it so it's cute i like it i was actually excited when i picked up these items i was like oh especially with the way my kitchen is you know i like my kitchen better in this town home than i did my my house where i moved out of it's just nicer cuter and just i don't know it's just different and then this sign here i like it it says open daily farmers market fresh produce then it has apples corn pumpkins and gourds on it which is so adorable i like that so that will be cute i'm not sure if it's going to be in the kitchen i don't know when i pick up these products i don't know when i picked up these things i thought of the kitchen yeah this this stuff fits the kitchen i don't know where i would put it anywhere else and i think this is the last item the last thing that i picked up yep is this cute wall decor and i'm not sure i might put it outside of my on my porch and it says all you need is love and pie <laughs> This cute sign here. Oops, be careful. I don't know if you guys can see it. 
All you need is love and pie. Oh, there's the pie right there. That is so cute. Isn't that? I just love it. And I was thinking I might put it outside of my porch. Not sure. It might go in my kitchen. I don't know yet. But anyway, that's all I have to share with you guys. That's all I picked up. And I'm going to try not to go back to Dollar Tree and pick up anything else because I have other decor that I've kept over the years. That I don't want to be buying a whole lot of stuff. I'm just not because I'm trying to purge, you know, go in all my boxes and throw away a lot of stuff. I mean, I'm not throwing away my good uh, decor, but I'm trying to go through and take out and get rid of all the old things. Like some of the things that I've gotten from Dollar Tree... Um, that I don't want to keep every year because you know they have new stuff all the time and it's only a dollar twenty-five, and I can afford dollar twenty-five versus something that's twenty or thirty or forty dollars a lot of. So I figure I'll throw away a lot of those things and just keep just very little because I'm trying to minimize my space in my garage because all of the decor and all those boxes and my bins, I mean it's full of Liz's decor. I'm telling you, and I told my husband. I said, when we move, I'm going to have a lot of my stuff gone. We're not going to leave with all the stuff that we came here with. We had so much stuff. So many boxes, 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 boxes. And our garage is actually smaller than the, the other garage where we moved from. It's smaller, more compact. It's cuter. I like it, though. It sure does not hold all the boxes that I have because we couldn't even put the car in the garage. Literally, I was like, where? I was like frantic. Where are we going to park the car? You know, I mean, we just couldn't. I couldn't get in the car. We couldn't get out. It was just like a tight squeeze. And my brother-in-law was so nice. He said, no, I'm going to help you guys. We're going to just get some of these boxes and we're just going to just kind of like stack them up, up against the wall a little bit more so that, you know, it does not be in the way of the car it was just so crowded oh my gosh i was so frustrated and so that's what made me decide okay liz you the one that did this for all this decor so i said that's it my son he likes to keep everything i throw away a lot of stuff i'm a throw away or he's a pack rat so i am going to purge and i've already done a good job with it so far you know, I we have a lot of space now, but I still haven't gone through all the boxes yet. And the ones that I have, as far as the, the Christmas bins, those storage, big, large, huge bins, that's the only thing that I want to put my decor in. I don't want to put them in brown boxes, you know, because I want to be able to see what's what. And I want to be able to label it and put all the spring and summer things in one and maybe the winter things in another or you know i want to kind of categorize it and just try to make it a little more uh, functional you know and, and have everything organized so i will know when i go out to the garage where i'm going what box i mean what uh, bin to get that has this label you know i just never really organized my decor since i started doing youtube and that's where it's like oh my gosh and then when it's time to move then you really feel it you feel the pressure because you did not store those things properly you know i'm pretty sure you guys know what i'm talking about some of you some of you probably have everything all together you know because you guys are professional um professional people that keep things in order but i'm not so i'm trying to learn and sometimes i watch those uh videos you know people who know how to store their things properly and just a little more organized i will watch videos like that just to get some some pointers and i have learned a few things so i'm trying to do that but anyway that's it for now i'm hungry and it's dinner time now it's like 4 30 and i only had breakfast and this was supposed to be my lunch my apple but i had an appointment and it took like three hours and I was doing a lot of talking so I didn't get a chance to eat it so anyway I could probably save this for snack I'm gonna close out this video I just thank you guys so much for watching and if this is your first time watching 
please subscribe to the channel i would love to have you and thank you so much for stopping by my name is liz again so you know feel free to watch any of the videos and make sure you double tap the bell uh, so that you will be notified of all the videos and you won't miss any of them okay so thank you jazzy green family i love you all you guys take care you be blessed and i will see you next time in my next video bye